Do you know why the dodo bird, once native to the island of Mauritius, went extinct? Was it simply because they were slow and dumb, as we were taught in school? If you think that, you might be wrong. The reality is far more complex than it seems. The truth is so shocking that you may find it hard to believe. It's a story history never fully told us, but to uncover the real reason, you'll need to stay with us until the end. The story of an extinct bird isn't just about the bird. It's also a warning for all of us. So, are you ready? Let's go back 140 million years to a time when the Earth's continents were still forming. At one point, a part of Africa split off and later divided into two parts, Madagascar and India. While India sped northward to collide with Asia, Mauritius formed as a tiny island on top of an underwater mountain. Initially, Mauritius was nothing more than a barren rock. No plants, no animals. Over time, ocean winds and currents carried seeds, allowing plants to grow. Slowly, this lifeless rock transformed into a lush green paradise. But what about the animals? For land animals, crossing the ocean was nearly impossible. Birds, however, had no such limitations. One such bird, a pigeon-like ancestor of the dodo, arrived on the island. Captivated by its abundant fruits, nuts, and safe environment, it decided to stay and make Mauritius its home. Yet, this paradise would soon become a deadly trap. A trap that would lead to the dodo's greatest mistake. You must be wondering what was this trap? And what mistake did the dodos make? That's exactly what you'll find out in the next segment. The dodos' new home, Mauritius, was nothing short of paradise. No predators, no threats, and an island full of lush greenery with fruits and nuts in abundance. This perfect environment set them on a remarkable evolutionary journey. Imagine this. A bird that was originally a relative of pigeons gradually grew much larger in size. This phenomenon is called island gigantism. When a species lives on an isolated island without predators, they no longer need speed or the ability to fly. Instead, they grow in size and weight. This is how a small, pigeon-like bird evolved into the massive dodo. Over time, the dodos became so large that their wings couldn't support their weight, and they lost their ability to fly. But they didn't mind they were safe and content in their paradise. However, this safety was nothing more than an illusion. Even more surprising is that the dodos didn't just lose their ability to fly, they also lost their instinct for survival. They forgot how to be afraid. If you placed a predator in front of them, they wouldn't even flinch. They had no defense mechanisms and no will to escape. This became their greatest vulnerability. But the story doesn't end here. You might think this was their only mistake. But it wasn't. The real horror began when humans disrupted this paradise. What did they do? How did this species vanish forever? That's exactly what we'll uncover in the next part. The peaceful paradise of the dodos lasted only until humans set foot on Mauritius. First came the Arabs, followed by the Portuguese, and then the Dutch. Initially, the presence of humans didn't seem like a direct threat. But with them came problems that would become the dodos' worst nightmare. Humans brought along animals, dogs, cats, rats, and monkeys. These creatures, new to the island, quickly began to wreak havoc. The dodos, who had already lost their ability to fly and their survival instincts, were utterly defenseless. Dogs and cats hunted them, while rats targeted their eggs eggs that held the future of their species. With these relentless predators, the dodos' chances of survival diminished drastically. But that was just the beginning. To humans, Mauritius wasn't merely an island. It was a resource waiting to be exploited. The Dutch settlers started cutting down the island's hardwood trees, which were a vital part of the dodos' habitat. Their last natural refuge was destroyed, leaving them with nowhere to hide and no time to recover. Extinction became inevitable. Once numbering in the millions, the dodos vanished within a few decades of human interference. Yet, this wasn't just about predators or habitat destruction. Human greed and the overuse of resources erased their final hope. So the question remains, could this have been avoided? If humans hadn't come to Mauritius, would the dodos still exist today? Stay tuned as we explore these questions further. For the dodos, the jungles of Mauritius were more than just a home. They were their last line of defense. The dense forests provided natural shelter, a crucial barrier against threats. 
But everything changed when the Dutch settlers arrived. The Dutch began cutting down the island's lush, green forests. These trees weren't just part of the dodos' habitat, they were integral to the entire ecosystem. Yet, to the Dutch, they were merely hardwood to be harvested and sold. Slowly but steadily, the forests disappeared, and with them went the dodos' protection. Without the jungle, the defenseless birds were left exposed under the open sky, becoming even easier prey for predators. The lack of shelter also disrupted their food supply, leaving them vulnerable and malnourished. The destruction of their habitat dismantled the delicate balance that had allowed them to thrive for centuries. For predators like dogs, cats, and monkeys, this was an open feast. The dodos, unable to hide, were hunted relentlessly, and their eggs, once the hope of the next generation, were devoured by rats. This wasn't just about predators, though. Habitat destruction pushed the dodos to a point where recovery was nearly impossible. The vulnerability of the dodos wasn't limited to predators. Human greed and the relentless exploitation of resources were significant contributors to their downfall. As the forests were cleared, the dodos' survival became increasingly untenable. You might think the extinction of the dodos had a singular cause, but it was actually the result of multiple factors, predators, habitat destruction, and human greed. The dodos, once thriving in peace and isolation, were now hurtling toward extinction. But even after the forests were gone, was there any hope left for the dodos? Could their extinction have been prevented? To uncover the true end of this tragedy, keep watching. What happened next might be the most striking evidence of human greed in history. The extinction of the dodos is not just the tragedy of a single bird species. It is a profound warning for all of us. This is the story of a peaceful creature that thrived in its paradise, only to be erased by human interference and greed. It forces us to ask, if we don't respect the nature around us, could we one day find ourselves standing in the line of extinction too? Humans destroyed the dodos' habitat, introduced predators, and turned their paradise into a deadly trap where survival was impossible. But this isn't just about the dodos. Even today, we are disrupting ecosystems worldwide, and for every act of destruction, the ultimate price will be paid not just by nature, but by humanity itself. Now imagine, what if the dodos were still alive today? Would they be thriving in wildlife sanctuaries, inspiring us with their uniqueness, or would their name be on a fast food menu, reduced to an exotic delicacy? These possibilities are both fascinating and sobering. We cannot change what has happened, but we can learn an important lesson from the Dodos' story. If we don't learn to live in harmony with nature, we risk becoming just another forgotten chapter in history. Start today, take responsibility, and work towards saving this planet for future generations. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. What do you think could the Dodos ever make a comeback? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.